In the last lecture, we learned about the different data types which MongoDB supports. And there we learned that to a field of a document, we can also assign another document. And that document is called as nested or embedded document. So in this lecture, let's learn what is a nested or embedded document and how we can work with it. Here I have a JSON file with some JSON data. So basically here I have an array and in that array I have some JSON objects. So this is the first JSON object. This is the second JSON object. And in this way, I have total five JSON objects inside this array. Now, if you notice, let's take an example of this first JSON object. Here, if you notice, we have this name field to which we have assigned a string value. Then we have this age field to which we have assigned a numeric value. Then we also have this is married field to which we have assigned a Boolean value. Then here we have a subscription field. And to this subscription field, we are assigning a document. So this document is called as a nested or embedded document because this document is embedded inside this outer document. In the same way, the subscription field also has some fields. For example, it has this type field to which we have assigned a string value. Then it also has a renewal date field to which we are assigning another nested document, another embedded document. So basically, Embedded documents are those documents which are assigned to a field inside a document. Now, there are two things which you need to remember about embedded documents. The first thing is that you can nest documents up to maximum of 100 levels. So, for example, in this document, this is the first level of nesting and this is the second level of nesting. And in this way, you can have 100 levels of nesting. So inside this nested document also, you can have another nested document. In that, you can have another nested document. And in this way, you can have maximum of 100 levels of nesting. And the second point to note here is that the overall size of the document must not exceed 16 MB. A document can have a maximum size of 16 MB. It cannot exceed that. So when you have nested documents inside your document, you need to keep in mind that the overall size of the outer document, the main document should not exceed 16 MB. All right, so now that we know what is an embedded or nested document, let's see how we can work with nested documents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this JSON data here. Let's go to MongoDB shell. And here, let's go ahead and let's insert the JSON object which we just copied in our customer collection. For that, we can say db.customer.insertMany. Let's also close this insert many method and let's press enter. So you can see that the five documents have been inserted in the customer collection. Let me clear the console and let's go ahead and let's run the find command. So you can see in the customer collection, we have these five documents. And each document here has a subscription field, which stores an embedded document. And in that embedded document, we have this type field, which stores a string value. And we also have this renewal date field, which again stores an embedded document. Now, if you notice the type field of this subscription field, it has a value either yearly or monthly. So here the subscription type is either yearly or monthly. Now, let's say we want to find all those documents from the customer collection where the subscription type is yearly. Let's see how we can do that. So here, first, let's access the customer collection. On that, let's go ahead and let's use the find method. And we know that to this find method, we can pass a filter. So for the filter, we specify a set of curly braces. And inside that, we want to find all those documents where the subscription type is yearly. So for that, first we need to access the subscription field and that subscription field has a type field. So in this way, we can access the field of an embedded document. Now here, if you notice, I'm using this dot notation. And when we are using a dot notation in the expression, we must wrap it within double quotes like this. Okay, now we can specify the value for this type. So here we want to query all those customers whose subscription type is yearly. So we can specify it like this. Okay. Here I am accessing the type field of this subscription document. And there I am querying for all those customers whose subscription type is yearly. 
If I go ahead and if I press enter, you will see that it has returned us two documents. And in both of these two documents, you will notice that the subscription type is yearly. In the same way, if I want to find all the customers whose subscription type is monthly, I can write the same query there. I only need to change the query value. So from yearly, I will query for all those customers whose subscription type is monthly. If I go ahead and if I press enter, it should return us three documents as you can see. And here the subscription type is monthly for all these three documents, all these three customers. So in this way, you can query a document based on the nested documents field. All right. Now let's say I want to change the subscription type of this customer where the name is Rashid from monthly to yearly. How we can do that? For that, we can use update one or update many method. Here, since we only want to update one document, I'm going to use update one method. So again, we can say db.customer.update1. And to this update one, first we need to pass a filter. For the filter, I will use the name property of the document, the name field of the document. And I want to update that document where the name is Rashid. Now I will use a second set of curly braces. And since we want to update a document inside this curly braces, first we need to use the dollar set operator. To this, we again assign another set of curly braces. And inside that, we specify the field and the value which we want to update. Here, I want to update the type field of this customer. So in order to access this type field, first I need to access this subscription field. So again, I need to say subscription. And again, here we are going to use dot notation. So here I will say subscription dot type and I want to set this subscription type to yearly. Currently it is monthly. And as I mentioned earlier, when we use dot notation in the expression, we must wrap that expression within double quotes. So here I'm going to wrap this expression within double quotes. Let's go ahead and let's run this command. So you can see that one document has been modified. Let's go ahead and let's query the customer where the name is Rashid. So for that or this customer collection, I'm going to use find one method and there I will specify the filter as name should be Rashid. If I go ahead and if I press enter, you will notice that now the subscription type of this customer has changed to yearly. Earlier it was monthly. So this is how we can update a nested document field. Now let's say I also want to update the renewal date year of this customer from 2023 to 2024. For that, let's again use update one method. And there I want to filter the customer by its name. So I want to filter this customer where the name is Rashid. And there I want to set the renewal date year to 2024. So there what I need to do is on the subscription field, we have another field called renewal date. So I need to access that renewal date field first and on that renewal date field we have an year field okay so first i am accessing this subscription field which is a nested document in that document we have this renewal date field so i am accessing that field on subscription and that renewal date field is again storing a nested document and in that nested document we have this year field so i am accessing that year field using dot notation and again since I'm using dot notation in this expression, I'm wrapping this expression within double quotes. And here, I want to set this year to 2024. So let's go ahead and let's do that. And now let's go ahead and let's press enter. Okay, so again, one document has been modified. Let's go ahead and let's use find one method and let's filter the document by the name Rashid. Let's press enter. And here you will notice that now the renewal date year has changed to 2024. Earlier it was 2023 and you can also access the value of a nested documents field. For example, let's say we want to get the renewal month of this customer Rashid. To do that, what we can do is first we can query for that customer using find one method. So again, let's use find one method. So this expression here is going to return us this document. And on that document, we have a field called subscription. So this expression here it will return us this document. Let's actually see that. So let's go ahead and let's press enter. And you will notice that that document has been returned here. Now, what do we wanted to access? 
we wanted to access the value of the month property the month field of this renewal date document so here on the subscription we have access to this document and in this document we have this field renewal date so let's go ahead and let's access that field and this renewal date has a field called month so let's go ahead and let's access that field on this renewal date document and when i press enter you will notice that it has returned march and that's the renewal date month for this customer so in this way you can also access the value of a nested documents field now we will learn about working with embedded documents in great detail in the future lecture of this course here i simply wanted to give you a basic knowledge of what embedded document is and how we can work with embedded document this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day